Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Um, today I'm just going to be showing you all my loadouts which I've been, well, well which I promised when I made my backpack tour video but that was ages ago and the loadout video I made for it wasn't very good so I didn't upload it. So yeah we're going to go from scout like along which sort of just makes sense and I have four loadouts for each class. Um, so if we start at A, we've got my main loadout, which has normally got these on. Um, but if I'm playing offense or something, I either use these or Strange Bonk and the Sandman. And then just the Australian Scattergun, which is my favorite item I own, pretty much. Um, with my hat, or with my green energy trilby. My bonk boy, which isn't unusual, and my big man on campus. I'm working towards getting a better bonk boy, as a lot of you know. But some sometimes I like using the squirrel instead, instead, which is still cool. For like my defense thing, I guess I use uh, my luger and my fish, and then this gold botkiller scattergun I've I was donated a few days ago. And then that's also, along with my green energy hat and my big man on campus, with some book turners that I got. Um, but yeah, for uh, Scout, my favourite scattergun is just the stock default one. And then I like using the pistol or the bonk, so just to uh, some extra firepower or just to run past people when they're invincible. Um, on my C loadout, if it actually loads, I have like the ninja. Um, I I used to have the ninja hood here, but I sold it or something. I don't have it anymore. Oh no, it's whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have it anymore, but it doesn't really matter because the Hong Kong cone still goes with it. And then I have the three rune blade. To go with just the Scattergun and the Lugamorph. And then for MVM, I have the Festive Force of Nature, which can swap out between any gun, really, because you don't really um, use your Scattergun all that much. And then a Mad Milk um, and the Fan of War, which those two are basically the must haves of MVM if you're playing on Scout. So now for the soldier, I've recently picked up an Australian rocket launcher, which is awesome. Wait, this, no, this is the wrong loadout. So yeah, this is like the Musark loadout. I'm only using this until I've got my actual set for soldier, so that this will change. But it, I think it looks quite good still. But yeah, I've got the Australian rocket launcher. It's gifted from somebody I don't even know, uh, which is why it says unknown there. Well... It's unknown because it's a private profile, or their name's literally unknown. So I've got a gift wrap, and I'm going to get one of my friends to take this, wrap it in gift wrap, and give it back to me. Um, I used the vintage gunboats so I can jump around, and then the market guard. Well, I used the gunboats so I can jump around more and take less damage. And then I used the market gardener just because it's really satisfying when you just jump all the way across the map and hit somebody with that as like an insta kill pretty much for B I have a different sort of setup uh, here I've just got the the pipe I think I was donated that um, yeah I got the exquisite rack show, Shogun's thing I really like the point and shoot hat it is a really nice hat and I don't know why I have the spell book on I never used it but yeah, um, on this loadout I just do a bit things a bit differently, maybe like a more competitive loadout. So I use the shotgun and the escape plan, so I run quicker when I've got lower health and some extra firepower, which is actually really helpful. Um, uh, loadout C is my rocket jumping loadout. So you can see I have the rocket jumper, which take, makes me take no damage from rocket jumps. If you didn't know, uh, the man treads, which 
um, deals damage to people when you land on them after rocket jumping. And then the market gardener just to, as my main method of killing people. Well, that's my only method of killing people because I can't deal damage with those. Um, and then this is my MVM load loadout. Uh, I have the Australian rocket launcher, uh, which could be swapped out for the beggar's bazooka, I guess. Um, a festive buff banner for giving everybody buffs. And then a disciplinary action for um, buffing everybody up. Um, so yeah. I also have the World Traveller's Hat. I got this by buying the Process Badge. Uh, mainly because Process is one of my favourite maps. Uh, I've got the Bruiser's Bandana and the Merc's Muffler. I'm going to work on getting a Brawling Buccaneer. So then it's more piratey. And then on to the... The Pyro is probably my most, like, not used class, so, for, like, my cosmetics and stuff. But I use the Degreaser, the Flare Gun, and the Specialized kill, kill Streak Axe, all strangers. So, this just lets me swap things out really, really quickly. Um, so then I can have them back into a corner or something. Um... Then I've got the flare gun for dealing loads of damage to people after I've set them on fire. And then the kill streak, the specialized kill streak, strange extinguisher. For basically doing the same job as this, but differently and stuff. <laughs> so I've got the pyromancer's hood, the last breath, and the suit suit. Um, just some random cosmetics I threw together. I'm working on changing all my loadouts, redoing them, making them look quite good until I get my unusual loadouts for them. Um, for B, I have the rain blower. I don't, I don't know why you have the rain blower. Then I have the reserve shooter, which does the same job as the flare gun, except they need to be in the air, so if you air blast them back and then shoot them, they take more damage. And then the axe extinguisher for doing the same job as before. And I have the green flamboyant flamenco, the green apparitions aspect, and the green sub-zero suit. Um... So it's a very green, but then the Sub Zero suit just really doesn't go when it's not winter. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Then I have the Pyrovision loadout. Um. There are so many Pyrovision hats you can have. Um. Yeah. There's no. There's not a lot of. Well, no. There is a lot of Pyrovision hats you can have. It's just you can only have three, equipped. And then I have the Rain Blower. The Scorch Shot, which is the most Pyrovision uh, flag gun. And the Lolly Chop, which is, you know, the, pyro the Pyrovision version of the Fire Axe. Then, for the MVM loadout, um, yeah, <laughs> I have the Flog, for killing all the tanks, the Detonator, and the Power Jack. These two are just because, you know, they have to fill the slots somehow. And the loadout for this one's really bad. But it's just the green bells hat and a sight for sore eyes. So, yeah, that's the pyro covered. The demo man, if I go back to my A. Um, obviously, I have my Scorching Flames Glengarry Bonnet, my green Bearded Bombardier, and my green Bondelier. Along with my truly feared Strange Lock and Load. Um... My Australian Sticky Bomb Launcher, which I was donated very kindly by Sir Orange. And a Specialised Kill Streak Genuine Hamshank, which I got for pre-ordering um, Don't Starve. Um, in fact, I bought it on my birthday, which is when the promotion ended. So I got a bit lucky there. Um, then for B, I have a more Demo Knight thing, or Demo Pan. So I'm using the Tide Turner and the Frying Pan with the same loadout and the same lock and load. Um... For C, this is just my troll loadout, I guess. So I'm using the base jumper, the sticky jumper. So I can blast myself into the air, taking no damage. Um, and then hover around. And I'll whack people with the cable to kill them. Um, so then on this loadout, it's just MVM loadout, I guess. So the strange grenade launcher for more pipes. The lock and load is still good, I guess. And then the Obviously the sticky bomb launcher for killing everything and the frying pan just as a last resort. Using a different set, using a Bill's hat and a macho man. 
just to be a bit different, <laughs> mix things up a bit. Oh god, my <laughs> my heavy set isn't that good. Uh, except the Grand Duchess stuff. Uh, I used just the minigun, the sandwich, and the kill streak gloves of running urgently. That's just so I run quicker. That's to heal people or heal myself if I'm alone. And then my minigun is just to deal damage to people. Then, for defense, or just a different loadout, I used the Brass Beast. I don't know why. Uh, the Festive Shotgun, just for some more firepower for when this isn't quick enough. And then a Strange Fist of Steel, so I take less damage while I'm running around. Um, and then I've got the Boxing loadout, I guess. The Pugilis, Pugilis Protector. Large Luchador and the Heavy Lifter. Um, if it actually changes to C. I have more of a... I don't even know what this is. But I have the Sandwich Heavy. Uh, the Holiday Punch and the Festive Minigun. Along with the Summer Hat, the Old Father and the Triad Trinket. So it looks quite cool. He's like an old retired man <laughs> with a chain. Yeah, and then this loadout's just completely pointless. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, with the minigun, the sandwich, and the fist of steel, with this unusual dreadnought, I'm still trying to sell all further. And a tacky hunter's heavy, which is a strange one. So yeah, so yeah, on to engineer. Um, I use the frontier justice along with the um pistol or the Lugamorph with the strange wrench so I build level 3's when they die I go on a rampage with this and then this is just for shooting people further away and then I have my strange PDA which I don't really do much with <laughs> and then I have the fat NG with the Bills hat just because the lonesome loafers were just a bit I don't see the point in them um, then this one's a bit different I'm working towards or I've sent a trade offer for a green big country just so like the whole face will be green <laughs> I think that would be quite funny but then I've got the rescue ranger, the wrangler the festive wrench and also the PDA so I can heal my sentries from really far away that all rhymed <laughs> um, then I can control it, move it around and aim at certain things and then my festive wrench is just to make it a little bit better than the normal one um, then this is sort of my assassin set, so I've got the Widowmaker which deals loads of damage if you can hit people with it, um, the pistol just to, as extra firepower, and then the gunslinger for mini sentries, so it, it pairs really well with the Widowmaker, um, I could use the Wrangler here, um, for like killing, well no, for using my for giving my mini sentry a shield so it has even more health and does even more damage so that would just be insane and then this is pretty much the same as my B loadout because it has the rescue ranger the wrangler and the wrench but this time I used a point and shoot grizzle growth and the macho man um, just to make it look a bit different my sets don't really change oh no they do, they all change I just used the danger on this one because I was trying to mix it up earlier and then t the tools of the trade because normally my default go to um, shirt is the um, the eggheads overalls so I wanted to sort of change it up a bit so yeah onto the medic um, uh, this is sort of like kind of combat medic so I have the crusaders crossbow and the ubersaw I do have a professional kill streak Ubersaw, but it's not strange. Uh, I have a lot of Ubersaws, like the festive Ubersaw, the professional Ubersaw, and the kill streak strange one. Um, so yeah, the Crusader's crossbow just lets you heal people um, from long range or damage people. So if you hit either team, you either heal your team or hurt the other team. And then a medigun just to get Ubers. You could tell I've never used this thing, except for once. I think it was on the Prophet stream yesterday <laughs> that I used it. Um, 
And then this loadout, it's a bit different. It look, I think it looks quite cool because he's got like a mask on. He's got the procedures mask and the surgeon vest. Uh, this one's more like defense and crits people thing. So I have the Blitzauger, the Crits Krieg, and the Professional Killstreak Ubersaw. So I think this one looks quite cool, and I quite like that one. Um, <laughs> this one's just one that I've thrown together just completely. I just picked things that covered the face, mainly. The only difference between the weapons is that I used the Quick Fix and the Ham, uh, just to mix up the Medigun I use. But yeah, I'm using the Blighted Beak. The procedures mask and the planeswalker helm, uh, just so it just, it looks like that, and it's really weird. For MVM, I used the crossbow, the crits Krieg, and the Uber Sword to build Uber and stuff, along with the same loadout. A lot of these MVM loadouts could be completely wrong because I don't play MVM that much, but yeah. Then for the sniper, I used the I. Either I used the normal specialised killstreak sniper rifle or the genuine upper hand just because I like using both of them. Or I switch it out for the festive sniper rifle or something else. And then I have the festive SMG and the crossing guard um, just for extra damage to people. And I'm using the point and shoot, the chronomancer and the double cross con. I really like the chronomancer just because it's like a kind of nice jacket, I guess. So then, onto my B loadout. Uh, if it loads. I have the Huntsman, the Festive Jurati, and the Bushwhacker for doing loads of damage to people. Like, mixing these two together. And then the Huntsman is just, if I feel lucky, I want to practice with it, I guess. Then the hats are the Bill's Hat, the Black Villain's Veil, and the Poacher's Safari Jacket, which is another one I really like. Um, so yeah, I think that one looks quite cool. And then I have <laughs> my complete, just stupid, messing around sniper. I have the upper Hand, the Danger Shield, so I don't, like, well I have more resistance to bullets. And then I use the Shiv, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, just... Because it sort of goes with this more, I guess. And then I use the gibbous, the seal mask, and the safari jacket. <laughs> and then for MVM, I use, if I ever play MVM that is, I use the Hitman's Heatmaker, so I can, well, use the focus and the explosive headshots combined. And then I just continually do damage. The Razorback, so if there's any spies that round, um... I won't have to worry much. And then the bushwhacker just for hitting people. Um, and then finally we go on to the spy. <laughs> after the, what feels like forever. Um, I use the genuine diamond back. The knife. Uh, the stock knife. Just because it's a really nice knife. Um, and well yeah it's... it's like, it's got no upsides and it's got no downsides. Uh, and it's just really good. In fact, now that I have one, I could use the Strange Festive Knife, uh, which I just got today. And then I use the, the Dead Ringer so I can run away from people and they think I've died. And then I have the Charmer's Chapo, the Roos Coal Rule, and the Double Cross Con. Um, going on to my B loadout when it loads. I use the Strange Ambassador, uh, the Sni uh, the Spicicle, and the Dead Ringer as well. So mixing these two together, uh, a really good combo. And then the Ambassador, so I can run away, headshot the person who's just hit me. If, you know, if I have the skill to do that, which I probably don't. But yeah. Then I use the Green Bill's Hat, the Green's Ruko Rule, and the Bruiser's Bandana. Like I said, I am trying to remake all these sets. Like, I want a lot of different painted hats. Um, <laughs> this one's a bit different, because I wanted to try and make a pirate, kind of. So I have, like, this sort of jacket, which kind of looks like a pirate, sort of not. Yeah, I don't know. And then the World Traveler's hat again, 
which is just a pirate hat. The Professional Kill Streak Big Kill, which I was donated by Sir Orange again. Um, this Stranger Eternal Reward, which I just put on there because I didn't really know. But I could also use the Kunai. Then I used the Quackenbird as well, because it's like, it's basically the stock one. Um... Yeah, it's basically the stock invis watch, but it's got a, a duck in it. Um, and then the normal sapper. Um, then for MVM, I never play Spy on MVM, which is why this loadout's pretty much the same as my other one. Um, but I just use different hats, like the Detective Noir, uh, the, Ru the Rogue's Robe, and the Business Pants Grey Bands. <laughs> so yeah, that was all my TF2 loadouts. If you have any loadouts that you think are really good and you use, uh, let me know. If you've got any nice and or weird hat combos, then also let me know because I'm looking to redo all my sets, except for the ones I have unusuals for. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.